Hello and welcome to my first ever Magic the Gathering box opening. Um, full disclosure, uh, before I get started, I recently launched a business selling Magic products, so I'm doing this partly to promote that business, but also because I'm hoping it'll be fun um, for me and for you to watch. So let's get the ball rolling with Strixhaven, the latest Magic the Gathering expansion. This is Magic's take on Harry Potter. Um, instead of the houses from the Harry Potter books and movies, we have the Strixhaven Colleges. And this is the pre-release pack for the Prismari College. So let's crack it open and see what we've got. I have already opened one or two of these and I think they've done a really great job with them. So let's just put that aside. So we have a life counter in Prismari colours. And we have five regular boosters. We have a themed booster around the Prismari College. Um, we have a divider. And we have a promo card from the set. This is Confront the Past. It's a lesson. Choose one. Return target Planeswalker card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield or remove twice X loyalty counters from target planeswalker and opponent controls. Yeah, I can see that getting some use. Okay. And also in the box, we have a part of a guide to the colleges of Strixhaven. This um, is sort of a jigsaw type affair. Um, I think if you collect all the pre-release packs, you'll make a nice picture of the college. Okay, so let's get started on these packs. Each of the pre-release packs comes with a themed booster. As I say, this is the Prismari one. So what have we got? We have a Prismari Pledge Mage, an Orc Wizard. Um, I'm going to move quite quickly through the commons. Okay. Prismari Cam Campus. An Elemental Summoning. Waterfall Aerialist. Spectacle Mage. Expanded Anatomy. Cogwork Archivist. Bury in Books, Arcane Subtraction, and onto the Uncommons, a Prismari Apprentice, Mercurial Transformation, an Igneous Inspiration, and the rare is a Multiple Choice. Um, I've noticed a few comments online about the amount of text um, on some of these cards um, and yeah this is certainly no exception um, but fun I mean who doesn't like a card that gives you choices and then we have a couple of elemental tokens oh, elemental spirit and treasure and one of these cards that always end up in the bin so that's our themed pack. Let's get on with the regular boosters. Now this is the real fun. I wasn't too excited about this set, to be honest. Um, I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan, but what I've seen so far, it's, it's great. They've done a fantastic job with the theme. Um, and 
I think it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to play, particularly drafting as well. Just bear with me a moment. Let's just arrange these by rarity. Okay. So we have Teach by Example, Quandrix Pledge Mage, an Excavated Wall, an Eager First Year, Blood Age General. That's what is he wearing on his head? Ah, oh, look at this guy. I love this one. The Professor of Zoomancy. He's a bear druid. And the shockingly bad pun on the theme text there. Uh, she's brilliant, if a bit overbearing. Serpentine Curve. Hunt for specimens. Um, this creates a pest creature tokens. In quite a few of these pest creature tokens um, in this set. Um, a stone rise spirit. Ah, there we go. And some more pests. This one creates two 1-1 one, one pest tokens. And onto the uncommons. A kelpie guide. A igneous inspiration again. Oh, with a bloom apprentice. With a bloom is one of the other colleges. And our rare is an elite spellbinder. When elite spellbinder enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. A spell cast this way costs two more to cast. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Not terribly excited about that. And finally, we have... And here's the first of our cards from Strixhaven's Mystical Archive. This is a special series of cards um, featuring spells found in the libraries at Strixhaven. And they're all reprints of cards from throughout Magic's history. And here we have the rather dull Infuriate. Um, instant target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. Okay, we can go there and then a spirit token. Okay, next pack. I love the Mystical Archive. It's a lovely idea from some wonderful artwork. Unfortunately, maybe that's not the most exciting of the cards, but let's crack on. Lawhold Pledge Made infused with vitality. Sudden Breakthrough. Spring main serving, curving serving. Vortex runner, arrogant poet, aren't they all? Pilgrim of the ages, illustrious historian. Uh, fractal summoning, the um, maths themed college, the Quandrix. Um, have all sorts of fun summoning fractal creature tokens. And then onto the uncommons, an academic dispute. Go blank, but a discard action. Expressive iteration. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, put one on the bottom of your library, and exile one of them. You may play exiled card this turn. That's okay. And our rare is... Aha! We have a dragon. This is Tanazir Quandrix. He, each school, each college, sorry. It's not Harry Potter, is it? It's Strixhaven. Each college has an elder dragon associated with it. And here we have Tanazir Quandrix. Flying Trample, when Tanazir Quandrix enters the battlefield, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever Tanazir Quandrix attacks, you may ha have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to Tanazir Quandrix power and toughness until the end of turn. Yeah. Like him. 
lots of fun but those fractal tokens obviously aha uh -huh. and our mystic archive is the classic we have a lightning bolt that is gorgeous look at that fantastic brilliant oh and another one we have a foil. I don't know if you can see the foiling on there. They've done a lovely job with this, the foiling in this set. Whirlwind Denial. For each spell and ability your opponent controls, counter it unless its controller pays four. Fantastic. And another spirit token. Okay. I said these are just beautiful, aren't they? This is how you do a reprint. Fantastic. Okay. Next up, we have a biomathematician who brings out fractal creatures, fractal tokens, sorry, a campus guide, the golem who will guide you around Strixhaven. Silver Core Campus, it's an enter the battlefield tapped kind of affair. Charge through, Soothsayer Adept, Essence Infusion, Beaming Defiance, Heated Debate, Spined Carrack, and, well that was strange, that was a rare, where I'd normally expect uncommon. Um, it's another Confront the Past, the same card we had in the promo slot. And then we have a Clever Lumin Luminmancer. Closing Statement. This spell costs two less to cast during your end step. Destroy target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you do control. Yeah, I could definitely see myself playing that. And it's a Quandrix Apprentice and another rare. Well, a Blade Historian. Oh, attacking creatures you control have double strike. Fun. And from the archives, we have Cultivate. Absolute classic. Ah, and then one of Quandrix's fractals. Okay. Love that new cultivate. Okay. Cram session. Relic sloth. Teach by example. Burying books, as I say, they've really gone to town with the school college theme here. It's They've done a great, great job. Hunt for specimens. I adored Caldime with all the Viking action. And, you know, this just didn't grip me in the same way until I started cracking open some packs. And I can't wait to start playing with these cards. And I can't wait to draft this set as well. I was talking to a friend today um, saying we can't wait for lockdown to be over properly and social distancing measures to to have been reduced to the point that we can finally start playing some paper magic face to face again. Spirit summoning stone binders familiar is the first uncommon. It's a dog. I do love what they've been doing with the dog tribe recently. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Stonebinders Familiar. This, a bigger, this ability triggers only once each turn. Hmm. Fortifying Draft, Zephyr Boots. And our rare is Wither Bloom Command. Again, each of the five colleges has a command spell. Um, attached to it in the case of this one it's a sorcery choose two target player mills three cards then you return a land card from your graveyard to your hand 
Destroy target non-creature, non-land, permanent with mana value 2 or less. Target creature gets minus 3, minus 1 until end of turn. Or target opponent loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Aha. Uh -huh. And our archive card is the also horrible Inquisition of Kozilek for one black mana. You get to look at your opponent's hand, choose a non-land non card from it with mana value 3 or less, and they discard that card. And we have a foily, foily Shadewing Laureate, a human warlock flyer. Whenever another creature you control with flying dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And an inkling. These are the tokens associated with the... And I've forgotten the name of the college, the college that's all to do with writing and poetry. Um, they create these nasty linklings. Okay. And finally, our last pack of this pre release box we have Prismari Pledge Mage, a blood researcher, Vampire Druid. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Researcher. Nice. A Wither Bloom Pledge Maid. This is a Tree Folk Warlock. I have a passion for Tree Folk, if that's the right phrase. Um, and I'm very pleased to see three or four new Tree Folk creatures in this set. Um, in the case of this one, when if you cast a copy an instant or sorcery spell, you gain a life. And here we have the Witherbloom Campus. Waterfall Aerialist. Professor's Warning. And the professor in this case is our old friend Liliana, um, going by the name Professor Onyx in Strixhaven for reasons I don't know because I haven't read any of the fiction um, I tend not to, um, just a personal thing. I, uh, perhaps I should give it a go. Enthusiastic study, big play. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, gains reach. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Expanded anatomy again. And for the uncommons, we have a solve the equation. Equation, even. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Umbral Duke. Choose one. Target player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Always like a bit of sacrifice. Or creature, or oh, sorry, or create a 2 1 white and black inkling creature with flying. And here we have Killian, an ink duelist. Sounds like a very messy way of running a duel. He's a human warlock, lifelink, menace, and spells you cast that target a creature cost two less to cast. Let's have some fun with that. And our rare is a land. It's the Fury Calm Snarl. As Fury Calm enters the battlefield, you may reveal a mountain or plains card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. And that's red and white. And our archive is another whirlwind denial. Though without the pretty foiling effect. And finally, we have an elemental token. So that's it. The Prismari pre-release pack. Um, nothing terribly exciting in there. I mean, it's, it's nice to see the... An Elder Dragon, obviously, and I'm very excited to see that lightning bolt. Um, that's just fantastic. Um, but yeah, um, I absolutely recommend, um, if you haven't already, get out there, get yourself some Strixhaven. It's, it's going to be a really, really fun set. Um, and join me again soon for another box opening. Take care, all.